Hey everyone, welcome back. Today we are going to solve problem number 879, Profitable Schemes. First, we will see the explanation of the problem statement, then the logic and the code. Now let's dive into the solution. So here I have taken the first example from the lead website. So first we will see what are these four variables are. So here n refers to the total number of available crime activities to form a scheme and we have minimum profit. So the minimum profit refers to the, if the criminal activity is successful, only if that activity generates the minimum profit three here, and the group and profit are connected here. So to generate profit two, we need two people. And to generate profit three, again, we need two people, right? So these group and profit are connected. So we need to return the number of successful schemes, right? And these schemes should generate at least profit three. Then only the scheme is successful in this case. I will show you guys with an example here. So we, here we have two members, right? If these two people work, they will generate profit two, which doesn't meet the minimum profit. So it is not successful, right? What if these two people work separately and they can generate profit three? So it meets the minimum profit, right? So I will count it as one. And there is also another possibility what if all these two groups work? There are four members, right? Two plus two, four. If these four people work together, they can generate the profit of five. Two plus three, five, right? And that also meets the minimum profit. So I will increase the count by one. So I will get two, right? So I will just return two at the end. I'm going to solve this problem using dynamic programming. Now we will see how we are going to do this. So here we have created the 2D matrix. So the rows represent the minimum profit plus one. So we have four rows here, right? And we create a column for n plus one. n is five, so we have n plus one. Six columns here, right? And we initialize the first value, that is the zeroth row and zeroth column value as one so then we pick the first group that is two and the first profit that is two right so we are initializing for the variables g and p here right then we will be having two loops where i will be having i and j so the ith pointer will start from the minimum profit three then i will just keep on reducing right then for the j i will pick the remaining people that i can choose to form a successful scheme that i will compute using n minus g so 5 minus g that is 2 here and if i do that i will get 3 right so my j starts from 3 then i will just keep on reducing j right so initially we take minimum between i plus p and the minimum profit. So here i is 3, i is 3, right? Then I will add p, that is 2. So I will get 5. Then I will pick the minimum profit, that is 3. I will take minimum between these two, which is nothing but 3. Then I will pick J, that is three again. Then I will pick the group, that is two. Here we have picked two, right? Which is nothing but five. So now we need to locate this indices in the matrix. So in the third row and the fifth column, we have zero. So to this value, I will add the i row and j column value 
So we have three and three. So we need to locate that. And that is also zero, right? I throw and J th column. So it will be remain as zero. So now I will reduce my J, which becomes two now. So now I will pick I plus P, which will be five again. Then the minimum profit is three. If I take minimum between these two, I will get three again, right? Then I pick J plus G, which is nothing but J is two and G is two. So I will pick four. So I need to look the third row and fourth column that is zero. Now here I will add ith row and jth column value which is again zero it remains zero again then again i will reduce my j which becomes one now so the j plus g value becomes three the value that we compute using minimum function will remain three only right since we are not changing i and p value so i need to locate third row and third column which is nothing but zero then I will add i row and j column value. So i row is third row and j column is first column which is zero. So it remains zero. So again I will reduce my j. Now it becomes zero. So here it becomes two. j plus g will become two now. We need to locate this indices. So third row and second column is zero. So I will add i row and j column value. That is the third row and the zeroth column, which is zero again. So it remains same. Since j has become zero, I will reduce my i now. So it becomes two. And j will be starting from three now. So here we are writing a loop, right? So again, I need to calculate i plus p. So i is 2, p is 2, so it becomes 4. Then I need to pick the minimum profit, that is 3, right? And the minimum between these two is 3. Now I need to calculate j plus g, which becomes 5 now. So now I need to locate the third row and fifth column in the matrix which is zero and I will add the i row and j column value that is two three right second row third column which is zero again so it remains zero so again I will reduce my j which becomes two now so here I've taken i is equal to zero and j is equal to zero right so now we are going to see where we get a non-zero value right so I just skipped and came to i is equal to 0 and j is equal to 0 situation. So now I will add i plus p. I will get 2. Then the minimum profit that is 3. The minimum between these two is 2. Right? This will be my row. Then I need to take j 0. I need to add g that is 2 again. I will get 2. So I need to locate second row and second column value which is zero where i will add i row and j column value so i row is zero and j column is zero as well where we get one here so i will add one to this value and update this place with one right so in the formula what we are trying to do here is we are keeping track of the number of profitable schemes that can be formed using the jobs considered so far. Right? So here we're done with the combination G is equal to 2 and P is equal to 2. So now we need to pick the next combination to this one. Right? Then the profit 3. And we need to, again we need to start from 3 and N minus G. Right now, I will show you guys the updated matrix. So here I have the updated matrix. Now I will locate the minimum profit row. So minimum profit is three. I will locate third row and I will sum the third row. 
I will get 2, right? So I will return 2 here, right? So now we will see the code. So before we code, if you guys haven't subscribed to my channel, please like and subscribe. This will motivate me to upload more videos in future. Also check out my previous videos and keep supporting guys. So here we are creating dynamic programming matrix using n and minimum profit. Then we are initializing 0th row and 0th column as 1. Then I will write a for loop to pick group and profit. Then I will write another for loop where my i pointer will start from minimum profit then it will reduce to 0. Then I will write another for loop for the j pointer where it starts from n minus g value and it reduces to 0 as well. Then we are updating the matrix using the formula here. Then finally we will sum the last row and then we will divide it by mod. The reason why we are dividing it by mod is the answers can be large. Right? Now we will run the code. As you guys see, it's pretty much efficient. Thank you guys for watching this video. Please like, share and subscribe. This will motivate me to upload more videos in future. Also check out my previous videos. Keep supporting. Happy learning. Cheers guys.